You are now listening to Cooper TV. I would probably tell them my blindness is only a handicap because you said it was. The only way that I can look at it, that I, that I could look at it as a handicap is if I was told that that's what it was. If I was told that this is the way that I should be, but when I could see I was handicapped, I would have believed it. I just feel like as a parent, you really have to be aware of the things that you're placing on your children just because you feel some type of way about something or you're scared about something. Okay. That's just, I think that's the most important thing. Like, as a child, when someone says, oh, like, like we were saying, handicapped disability, you know, it, it scares you. And you start looking at your blindness as a negative thing. And then that's where the embarrassment comes from and the depression comes from and the fear of doing things and the unknown and like all that stuff just stems from there. And then you find yourself stuck with all of these things on you, you know? Yeah. Language is very powerful. If you if you are speaking something onto yourself or onto another person, that wor those words create an energy that attaches itself to that person or to you. Blind most most parents of blind people don't even realize the way that blind people truly experience things. Like, we were talking about this with uh, KB a few days ago. How we, people always assume that it's, it, for, for us, it's very different. People assume, oh, you must have great hearing because you're blind. You know, I actually rely more on the, the, the fact that I can feel energy more than I even rely on my ears. Right. 
It's incredible. Mom, I want to go right. to the bathroom. It's incredible. If I, like... Go ahead, baby. Okay. If I feel at peace in my home, I can put my headphones on when the kids are sleeping and, you know... But if I don't, then I find that I don't, I don't, I don't put my headphones on. Then I, I pay attention more with my ears. Mm. If I don't feel comfortable, if the air in the room feels off. Right. You can't explain how I can walk into a room and tell if somebody just got into an argument in that room. You can't explain that away. You can't explain me walking into a into a room and being able to say somebody just had sex in here. You can't explain that away. That's energy. It's the energy that I'm feeling. It's the energy that you're feeling. That is a, a deeper and I could argue a better way to see, in my opinion.